smokeless chimneys, secondary and primary air inlets. April 14th, 2023. The best flames on the net. This is a CAD version of a wood stove that I made so I can discuss all the internal components that make a wood stove the great thing it is. Secondary air combustion is the subject matter. In this, we have the secondary air riser going up to the burner tubes in the top of the stove. It generally runs right through the firebox or the back of the firebox. Some wood stove manufacturers do it differently, but they got to get the air up to those tubes. And this is the way some of the manufacturers do it. The air comes in from the bottom of the stove. Here is a totally naked, or the uh, shell has been removed from this CAD wood stove. We have the green in the air is the primary air, and on the back is the secondary air riser. You can see the bricks are laid out, and I'll start to take some of these parts apart. This is the front of the wood stove, but at the very bottom is where this wood stove gets its air. That's the air inlet intake port. It would go into that green ring where at the very top would be your air wash. And at the bottom, and you can't really see it in this photo, there would be the ember invigorator. Different people, different manufacturers will call these different things, but we gotta have something to call them. So the primary air is this green ring on the left. Air wash coming down from the top. The air has to come in usually from the bottom of the wood stove, get heated up and then dispensed to keep the glass clean on the front of the wood stove. At the bottom, there's a small hole. And this is important because some manufacturers don't include this. And it is the air going to the embers and coals at the bottom of the wood stove. I think this is important and I think most stoves should use this. However, I found that some wood stove manufacturers don't use this. Here is the primary air ember invigorator. The air comes into the coal bed like this and it comes right directly from this combustion air inlet at the bottom comes in it doesn't get warmed up very much but it goes right into those hot coals and keeps them glowing nice and bright one thing you have to do is keep the ashes in the wood stove from covering up this port the wood stove will not run as expected if that port is covered here's the inside of the wood stove with this port visible it's designed to bring fresh combustion air into the coals and it results in nice bright coal bed and that is important to keep your wood at its optimum burning temperature. Some manufacturers don't include this. I don't know why. I do like wood stoves that have this burner port and two of the wood stoves that I've owned have had this actually three have had this and I like the way this works here's the closest view I have of this uh, airport that I think is very important and you can see how easy it would be to get uh, ashes to cover that up and you lose a significant amount of your primary airflow if that happens the secondary air is a lot of times not controlled in a wood stove it's always on so you you get these little air jets at the top now this makes a great fire if these are engaged and there's combustion gases up there and they just need a little bit of oxygen they work great. I love the fire in a secondary air wood stove. It 
in this view, I want to talk about how the wood stove gets its fresh combustion air. On many wood stoves, it's the lowest part on the front of the wood stove. On some, it's on the back, but it's usually at the very bottom of the wood stove. If they put it on the top, I see various problems with uh, smoke getting out of the box. So on this CAD wood stove, we're going to talk about there would normally be a diverter that would bring in more primary air or shut the primary air down completely. Now, if you shut the primary air down completely, that's when you get a black glass. However, if you leave some of the primary air going, you get these nice yellow flames. Here are the various parts of the wood stove. The bottom is the air distribution for the incoming fresh air. The front of the stove is the primary air, air coal invigorator and the air wash. The back of the stove has the secondary air riser with the little tubes that have air injectors that bring in the secondary air flame. If you have a control valve on your, or a control rod on your wood stove, you're normally adjusting the green ring here, the air wash and the coal invigorator. Push it all the way in, shut it all the way off, you don't get the yellow flames. This is the air wash. It normally has this screen-like material. Uh, various manufacturers put the um, screen uh, different types. I just put a generic one up there. This will put an airstream down the front or the inside of the window to keep it clean and then it goes across the coils. We've gone over most of the parts of the air injection for the wood stove. You can see them all here. Air comes in the bottom, it gets warmed up as it goes up these risers and comes out to the injection points. And that gives us a nice yellow flame from a secondary air burn. We'll put the shell back on. And this is our CAD wood stove. Uh, it was good to see the parts because in a regular wood stove, you don't see how the air flows through the wood stove. And secondary air wood stoves are, they're great. They don't have a catalyst or cat bed, and they don't have to be switched in and out. They have beautiful looking fire, and I think we need to keep these secondary wood stoves going. Smokeless Chimney, www.smokelesschimney.com, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube.